Here we go. So thanks for hanging out, waiting on that. Okay, first off, you have a string, okay? So a string, we want a node there and a node there so it can go like this, okay? So it's gonna vibrate up and down, all right? And that's what we're gonna call, and this link here is L, okay? So that's what we're gonna call the fundamental frequency or F1. And the length of the string then is this. It's half a wavelength because what we're doing is there's a wave, okay? And I'm between a node and a node, okay? So that's half a wavelength. So this will be one half a wavelength, okay? And then we can pluck the string again, but we need a node at the end, okay? And so it's going to be like this. It's going to be... And then it's going to come back on itself like that. So we have nodes. Okay? And this is called F2, or the first harmonic. Okay? The first harmonic. And then the length here, the length of the string is actually a wavelength. Okay? And we can keep doing this. right? And I'll just do one more. And then... Um, Sorry if I went too fast there. I didn't mean to do that, but it just happened. Okay. And then the next one's going to look like this. If I put, it's going to go like this. I don't know if I did that right. Yep. Okay. It's not going to. And it's going to come. <laughs> that's really poor. Okay. Those are supposed to be equally spaced. Okay. And so that is what we call the second harmonic. But we have those nodes okay, at the end. And that's going to be F3. And L here is, here's a wavelength, okay, and a half. Okay, so it's, it's going to be one and a half. So what we get from that is the frequency that you want, it's one, two, or three. It's this. It's some N of. And then the velocity along a string is the square root. It's related to the tension. So that's why you're always messing with their strings. And then it's over this mass length um, density. Okay. So that's really on a stringed instrument. But they want you to know that you have to have node, node, because it can't move at the end. Is that okay? And then we went to open and close pipe. Then I had you do that lab last time with a closed pipe because it was open on one end but the water closed it and then you got the speed of sound okay so it looks like this so i'll just i'm just going to do to here anyway let's say i just have this tube length right now okay um so i want an anti-node at both open ends okay so it's going to kind of go like this and then it's going to reflect back up okay so i have an anti-node a node and an anti -node. And that's what you're doing when you're playing an instrument. You're making the sound vibrate. You're opening and closing. And that's why it takes a long time to get good because you want that resonant tube to be just like that. It takes a little while to do that. Okay. So one thing, the velocity is this. Okay? And this is half a wavelength. Are you guys all right with that wave here? Here's an anti-node and an anti-node. That's half a wavelength. Okay. So it looks like this. L1, I'm going to call this L1, is actually, it's half a wavelength. Okay. So far, so good. And then I'm going to put that over here, and the frequency I'm going to get out of that, remember, speed of sound is the speed of sound in air. It doesn't change. Okay. It only changes in mediums. So then the frequency is going to be V over. Okay. And uh, my wavelength is 2 wavelength. So if I multiply by 2, my wavelength is 2L. That's called the first harmonic. And then I'm going to play the flute, and I'm going to increase my length down to here. <coughs> so I'm going to increase my length of my instrument. And I want another anti-node. So it's going to go like that. It's going to go like that. Okay, so now I have a node. So I have an anti-node. This is where the tube ends, so it's open. So I have an anti-node at each end. Okay. So between uh, 
How many wavelengths is that? That would be one wavelength. Okay, so this length here, I'm going to call that L2, is actually a wave. Okay. So that would be called your second harmonic. And so it's going to look like this. That L2 is a wavelength. And then frequency 2 is going to be the velocity over the wavelength, which is L. So fundamental was 1 over 2L. This one is 1 over L. And I can just keep doing this. I'm going to increase that longer. So I'm playing the trombone and I'm increasing the length. And I want another antenna. So this link here is link three. And link three, this is your second harmonic. This is your third harmonic. So first harmonic, second, third. That's actually a, a wavelength and a half. So now the frequency is going to be this. So this is one, this was two, and three is going to be B over that. Okay. So it's going to be, wavelength is going to be two thirds L. So I'm going to divide by L. So it's going to be. Did I do that? If you divide by three over two, what do you have to do? Two if you divide by three? So it's going to be this. It's going to be velocity. And my wavelength is going to be um, two thirds of a wavelength. So that's going to go up there and give me three over two. Okay. So here's what I want you to see this was one, this was two, and that's your third. You just see that I'm. If I multiply this by 2, I get that. If I multiply that by 3, I get that. So the harmonics in an open tube go 1, 2, 3. Okay. So your L looks like this. So the lengths, though, are you're going to have harmonics. Are this. Okay. And N goes in an open tube. It goes 1, 2, 3. Okay. So they go in... in <coughs> Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Then we did a closed tube, and on a closed end, can I get rid of that? No questions? Second hour? Okay. Give me a hand signal or something. I don't get it. something. All right. Then a closed tube looks like this. So a closed tube, I'm going to do the same thing, and then I'm going to, and this is what I wanted you to get. Let's say we had the water there. In this one, we want an anti node at the open end. And then a node at the close end. It's going to hit, reflect back up right in phase, and it's going to get loud. And you've heard that. Right where it resonates, it gets loud. Okay? So this is L1. And now we're doing this. So it's a wave. And we're between an anti-node and a node, which is a quarter wave. Okay? So this is going to be one quarter. Okay? So if I do the math, 4L would be a wavelength. So my frequency is going to be my velocity over my wavelength. There it is. That's your first harmonic. Second harmonic, we're going to pull it up. Water is going to come down there. Okay. So I want this. So I'm going to make it come out like this. And then I want an anti-node. Okay. That, we're going from an anti-node through a node, back to an anti-node, back to a node. That is three quarters of a wavelength. So this length is three quarters. Okay. So four thirds L. <coughs> so the frequency I have to divide by that. Okay, so if I divide by that, the three is going to go up on top. The bottom is going to come down. Okay. If I do it one more time, it's going to go like that. Right? And now I'm at five fourths of a wavelength. I have four quarters there, okay? And your frequency is going to end up being five fourths. Okay. So what I want you to see is if I multiply the fundamental by three, I get the second harmonic. I multiply by five, I get the second harmonic. So again, it looks like this. Um, for L, for a close to, and N goes one, three, five, etc. It's odd multiple. One, three, five. Okay. 
That's the big difference. And that is sound. It's pressure wave, open close, open tube, closed tube, and string. Cool. Did that help? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw up the uh, multiple guests, and um, let me know if you guys are needing any assistance on this. And then I'd really like you to kind of challenge yourself a little bit on um, these three free response. So oh, I, I can't really type on this. So if we go to my, our webpage, I'll go into it from how you guys might. So you just go to the school, teach your staff, go down here, all these good looking individuals, and then you click on AP Physics. Look at all this we've done. Kinematics, dynamics, circular motion, work energy, linear motion, rotational motion, simple harmonics, and now we're down here to sound, and here are my solutions. And then you can see we have electrostatics and current, and then we're reviewing. Cool. So here we go. So here's my solutions. Okay. So if you want any questions on any of these, um, or you can look at mine. But I think I worked some of those first ones with you, but that doesn't mean that you don't know them. But I tried to throw my work in there. So um, it's closed at one end. So it's closed at D. What's that? Did I do something wrong? I don't know. Five, I got D. I'm not sure. I might have. I might have. So it's open at both ends. So that's why I didn't do those ones. Number 15. The only thing that changes the velocity is if it switches mediums. It goes from air to water, but it doesn't, so that's constant. So if you double the frequency, you have to have it. Okay. So I want you to know um, the speed is unchanged. 117B. 17 looks like this. So I know um, it has two anti-nodes. So I'm down here at our two nodes. That's a half a wavelength. Okay. So I know that this distance of 20 meters is half a wavelength. <coughs> so the whole wavelength is 40 centimeters. That's one thing they wanted you to see. Okay. And then... Frequency is velocity over a wavelength, so it's 1,200 divided by 40, which is a full wavelength. Well, addition and that is not. So you have a string, and you want adjacent antinodes, right? So you have a string, and you want an antinode. There's a wave. There's an antinode and an antinode. That's just a node. Okay. Oh, I mean nodes. Are you? Oh, anti nodes. Still, it's it's going to be half away. Adjacent length. anti nodes is half okay. away. Is that okay? Is there anything there? They give you this distance is half a wavelength because it's between two anti nodes. Right there. So your wavelength is four. Is that okay? Uh, 19. This one's kind of weird, but it's moving that way. And I didn't really like this one. It's a little less than B, just because it's not catching up to it, I guess. They don't really show that correctly. But frequency is how many wavelengths pass by you a second. So if I was standing here, a lot more wavelengths would, would pass by me. Um, 21. They're going to cancel each other out. So you're going to get a plus and a minus. It's going to cancel each other out. Is that okay? Nothing? All right. Um, 23. Looks like you needed to do 22 first. Sorry about that. So what I did is I put nodes and anti-nodes and 5 hertz. Okay? And the string is 2 meters long. And with nodes at each end, as shown above, well, this, the speed is going to be the frequency. And this is a full wavelength. Okay. So it's, it's going to be, the velocity is going to be 10 meters per second. And then the fundamental frequency is good. No, but I think you needed that. You needed the speed. 
You could use the frequency to give you the first part of each. Oh, okay. Part. So, are you guys are okay with that? Yeah. Okay. I was just, you know, trying to do something, something for my money. This one, are you okay that when they cross, they're going to have, um, it's going to be, these are going to add. Yeah, and these are going to so I got A. Is that okay? So it's going to look like this. What? So when this one hits, so it's that one. One thing, oh, sorry, can I just draw on the board? Yeah. Thanks. So aren't they going to do this? Because wavelengths go like this, right? So if it's this wavelength, then won't it just do the same pattern? Well, throughout? they when they hit though, they're gonna be when they hit, they're gonna be that one's gonna so it's just gonna move like that. That's what it is. Yeah, it's just gonna move like that. But that pulse is gonna hit. Just like that. And then this pulse is gonna hit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, Andy, that so, was good thinking. Just why doesn't it oscillate? Is my question. Um, uh, let me think about that. That's a really good question. Let me think about that. That's okay. really good. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Um, Twenty-seven. I got C because they're closest together. So frequency. And two fire trucks. I want you to know this. Remember that period and frequency are inverses. Okay. And that's from circular motion too. So that's how I worked all that out. Is 29A empty or just B? A yeah. Anything? Yeah. When you have a string, how does increasing the tension increase the Because uh, it'll just vibrate faster. Because the restoring force is more. So it'll go up and come back down. So you're getting that restoring force. Cool. Nothing? All right. Since I don't get a whole lot of feedback, I'm just going to ask for it. Um, were the warm-ups cool? Yeah. yeah. Um, did it help when I went back through the string and the closed and the open? Yep. Did I go too fast, too slow? Was there anything that was left uncertain on that? Um, did I do an okay job on this? Okay. Oh, yeah. And then, so let's just, and I have my solutions online. These are really good problems. You'll see the first one is our lab. There's a means to my madness. I've looked at every problem for the last 25 years on an AP exam, and I picked out themes, and the themes are labs. Okay. So it helps. So you'll see this one occur quite often, and it's the lab we did last time. So um, it may look random and haphazard, but it's it's not up here. Okay. Um, the solutions are right here. If you go to my web page, um, I have my. This says my solutions, and then the free response is after um, the multiple choice. So you have forty five minutes. Um, how about that? Work these and get done. Yeah. Cool. Okay.